So we have given a balanced chemical equation along with their standard reduction and oxidation potential values and they are asking us whether this reaction is feasible or not. So how to solve this type of reaction? We will solve this type of reaction with the help of two steps. Step number one, determine the oxidation numbers of given species. Zn is neutral atom, so its oxidation state will be always zero, or oxidation number for that matter. Cu plus 2 is a monoatomic ion, so its oxidation number is its charge, so its oxidation number is plus 2. Again, Zn plus 2 is monoatomic ion, so its oxidation state or oxidation number will be plus 2. Cu is neutral atom. So its oxidation number will be 0. Step 2. Write down the oxidation and the reduction half reaction of this. This is first reaction and this is second reaction. So what happened in this reaction? Oxidation number of Zeng is increased from 0 to plus 2. As oxidation number is increased we can say that that substance is oxidized. Increase in oxidation state, the substance is oxidized. Here, zinc has lost its electron and converted into ion. So, substance which loses electron is reducing agent. So, overall, if you look at the overall reaction, then it is oxidation reaction. This reaction is oxidation reaction. Why? Because there is loss of electron and also there is increase in oxidation number. Now, in this reaction, the oxidation number decreased from plus 2 to 0. Also, there is a decrease in oxidation state. The decrease in oxidation state means the substance is reduced. The substance which gains electron is oxidizing agent. So, here CO plus 2 has gained electron and converted into copper solid. That means it has gained the electron and it is an oxidizing agent. Now if you look at this overall reaction that is called as, re this reaction is reduction reaction because there is gain of electron and also decrease in oxidation number. Now let's, so if you sum up the overall reaction adding by them, uh, this two electron, two electrons gets cancelled and this reaction it gets converted into the above reaction. Okay, and if you add these two values then it will convert it into 1.01 volts which is a positive sign and if this value is greater than 0 then reaction is said to be feasible or spontaneous if E0 cell value is greater than 0 then reaction is feasible or spontaneous Okay, if it is less than, uh, than 0, that means if it is in minus value, then that reaction is not spontaneous. But in this case, it is greater than 0, so the reaction is spontaneous or feasible. So, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial of Easy Tutorials by Sachin Borade. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Thank you.